Hello and welcome to the channel. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and make sure to like this video. In today's video, we will be making a gesture-controlled car using an Arduino Nano, 4TT motors, an NRF24L01 wireless module, and a cardboard body. You will be able to control your car using just hand gestures, so let's get started. First, we'll take cardboard. We'll use it to make the base of our car. You can use any piece of cardboard that's convenient for you. Just make sure it's strong enough to properly hold the motors. After that, we'll attach the L298 motor driver to the cardboard using glue gun. The motor driver is an important component because it will control the motors based on the signals it receives from the Arduino. You can use a glue gun to securely stick the motor driver to the cardboard base, making sure it's positioned correctly for easy wiring. We'll take the Arduino Uno and attach it to the cardboard as well, just like we did with the motor driver. We will also attach the NRF24L01 module, which will be used for wireless communication. To wire the NRF24 with the Arduino, follow the circuit diagram and make the connections according to its pinout. After that, we will connect the motor wires to the L298 motor driver. Connect the L298 motor driver to the Arduino. Follow this chart to make the connections. Now that our hardware setup is complete, let's go ahead and write the code. First, you need to add these three libraries to the Arduino IDE. These libraries are necessary for your code to work properly. First, go to the Tools menu. Then, click on Manage Libraries. This will open the Library Manager. Search for each of these three libraries one by one. When the library shows up, click on the Install button. Once these three libraries are installed, select the board, Arduino Uno. Choose the port to which your Arduino is connected. After selecting the correct board and port, click the Upload button. After uploading the code and setting up the receiver side, we will now move on to designing the transmitter. A while ago, I built a gesture-controlled car, and the transmitter was a bit too big and the finishing wasn't ideal. There were a lot of wires and it was difficult to manage everything in a compact size. This time, to make it more efficient and compact, I designed the transmitter and receiver circuit using NextPCB. NextPCB is a company based in China that specializes in creating custom PCBs. The design is much more organized and everything fits better than before. If you need the NextPCB link, I'll provide it in the video description. You can order your PCB for your project from there. Now I'll quickly mount all the components onto the PCB. With the custom design from NextPCB, 
it's much easier to place everything in its designated spots. The PCB has clear markings for each component, so I just need to solder the parts into place one by one. This will make the transmitter much cleaner and more organized than before. If you want to build the transmitter part from scratch on your own PCB, you can check out my previous video where I made the transmitter on a zero PCB. I will provide the link to that video in the description below. You can watch it and follow along to create your own transmitter on a custom PCB. Now let's upload the code to the transmitter. The transmitter code is just like the receiver code, and I've provided both the code and the circuit diagram in the description link. You can check it out there. Install the same libraries, select the Arduino Nano board, choose the correct port, and then click Upload. Now it's time to test our project. As soon as I move my hand up, the car will move forward. If I move my hand down, the car will go backward. With left and right gestures, the car will turn. So that's our gesture controlled car. It's a very simple and fun project and you can easily make it at home. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions related to the project, feel free to ask in the comments. I'll be happy to help. See you in the next video.